So I am back from my Disney trip. I had an amazing time. Um, I absolutely loved every minute, every second of it. I just honestly miss Disney already. But I thought that I would give you guys kind of a whole of what I got from Disney. So let's do it. So the first park that my family went to was Magic Kingdom and this is what I got from Magic Kingdom. So I guess the first kind of sort of souvenir that I got from Magic Kingdom was our premium parking pass. <laughs> my dad likes to give like little stuff to me like that because he knows I like to collect stuff. I'm like very sentimental when it comes to like literally everything. The second souvenir that I got was this Monsters University's hat. I am a huge fan of Monsters Inc and just the whole entire like Monsters Inc kind of like cinematic universe. I remember I had always wanted one of these um, when we first went to Disney back in 2017 um, but for some reason I don't know why I didn't get it. I ended up getting a Monsters University hat and I'm so excited because it has like the little rip in the front from um, the very beginning of the film when one of the scare scares gives Mike uh, this hat and it's really cute and adorable and I am in love with it. So the second park that we went to was Animal Kingdom. Now I didn't get a whole lot of souvenirs from Animal Kingdom but I did get a lot of pins because I love collecting pins. So the first pin I got and I was really surprised that they even had this was this Lizzie McGuire pin. I used to love Lizzie McGuire. I grew up on early 2000s Disney Channel so of course seeing this pin was a huge deal for me. And speaking of early 2000s Disney Channel, the second pin that I was really surprised that they had because I thought they would not make any stuff like that anymore was this Proud Family pin. Um, I am obsessed with it. Of course Proud Family is another show that I grew up on with early uh, 2000s Disney Channel so I'm really excited that this was a thing that they had there. Um, because I love Proud Family. That was like one of my favorite shows growing up. The third pin that I got was this really cute like Tarzan and Turk pin. I am a huge Tarzan stan. I love Tarzan. I grew up on Tarzan. Um, I can't listen to the Tarzan soundtrack without crying, especially because of You'll Be In My Heart. Like literally, I even bought the vinyl. No, I didn't get this at Disney World. I got this at Cracker Barrel like a few months ago. The third and fourth pin that I got was this like kind of like safari um, explorer Mickey. This little movable Simba, I love it. Um, went towards the Disney Conservation Fund and I love it a lot. Not only because Simba's head moves, but um, I like giving back in any way possible. So uh, knowing that part of my purchase from this pin went to the Disney Conservation Fund um, really made me feel good about my purchase because I got to help out in some way, shape or form. So the third park that we went to was Epcot, but I'm a huge, huge, huge figment stan. I love figment like with every fiber of my being. So the first ride that we rode was Journey into Imagination with Figment. And I finally got a Figment shirt. So this is what it looks like overall. It's adorable. I love this purple tie-dye. Some more pins that I got from Epcot. Um, I got this from the Figment gift shop. It was like a Monsters Inc. blind bag. And it came with two pins and one little bag. And I got this cute little Mike Wazowski Monsters University one. And then I got his hat. So I think that's really adorable that they even had these two and these were the two that I really wanted. So I'm really grateful that um, I got the two that I wanted on my first try. And then my parents got me uh, this 2021 lanyard and it's like reversible. Now I didn't get this from any of the Disney parks or any Disney properties, but I got this from one of the like gift shops, like one of those like overly themed gift shops in Orlando. It's this cute like Mickey Mouse comic book kind of sling fanny pack. And the park that we went to last on our last day of vacation was Hollywood Studios. So I'm really excited because we went to Galaxy's Edge. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and so we went to Galaxy's Edge and so I remember my therapist was telling me about um, when she went to Galaxy's Edge she tried the blue and the green milk and how I think she said the blue milk was her favorite. I don't know I might have to ask her again which one was her favorite. So you know I definitely had to go try both milks. The general consensus for me at least just in my my personal opinion I think that the blue milk is the best um, my mom also really loves the blue milk so so yeah I got this like cute little like souvenir jug mug cup thing uh, this was like 14 bucks uh, in total I think or like 12 bucks um, in total just for this and it comes with this cute like little lanyard things that way you can hold on to it uh, 
while you are walking around the parks. You could kind of like walk and sip. But the best part about this is it lights up. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but like it lights up at night. It looks like a little lamp at nighttime. This is my favorite souvenir that I got at any of the Disney parks the entire time I was on my trip. I got a Resistance uh, X-Wing flight helmet and I am super excited that this is one of now like my favorite prize possessions. <laughs> it comes with like a chin strap, um, a microphone which doesn't work, it's literally like it's like hollow on the inside so the microphone actually doesn't work it's just kind of there for like decoration but if you turn it on and press this button on the side So yeah, uh, you press the button and it has like a few different catchphrases and stuff and um, I fell in love with it and then the visor comes down, so that's cool. <laughs> so this is how it looks and I literally am in love with this. I got the Seven Dwarfs Mind Train pen, which was really cute and this little thing moves, like the little cart moves, which is adorable. I got this like Walt Disney kind of like vault thing, um, locket type vault thingy and um, I think it is pretty cool. This is like probably the coolest pin that I own. I got a Join the Resistance pin. I got a Tower of Terror pin with Goofy as one of the, I guess like hotel people. I got a pin of Mickey in a X-Wing flight suit. Uh, from Star Wars. I got a Disney autograph book pen which comes with like this little pen to sign it with. It's adorable. Love it. I got a Sorcerer Mickey pen, a Figment pen, a Pirates of the Caribbean pen. I got a Dumbo wait time pen and the wait time actually changes with this like little dial in the back. So I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And I think it changed my mind. I think this is actually the coolest pin that I own. I got a Mickey Ears hat pin, a Lilo and Stitch 5th anniversary pin. I got a six pack of Star Wars pins and I got these like character face pins that are like watches and they're actually pretty cute. Now we had like two days off on our vacation and so we used one of the days to go to Universal Studios and this is a quick Universal Studios haul as well. So I got this cute Universal Studios like clapper pin uh well marker pin um and i'm really glad that it actually like claps um because i have an actual clapper board i am a digital cinematography major um i've been doing film my whole life and so when i saw this in the gift shop i was automatically like yep i'm buying it um so this is really adorable and then from the wizarding world of harry potter i have this felix felices liquid sweets and last but certainly most not least from Universal Studios, uh, I went to Wizarding World at Harry Potter and I got a robe! Now unfortunately I didn't get a wand because the wands are pretty pricey too, about like, I think like 56, 70 bucks. Um, so I didn't get a wand, but I did get this uh, robe and I am in love with it. So uh, I will be doing a lot of future cosplays with this uh, as well as using uh, this robe at like different costume parties and whatnot. So that concludes my Disney slash Orlando trip haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing the Disney College program, so be on the lookout for Disney College program related vlogs coming up soon, as well as I will be vlogging on my Disney College program. So I will give like kind of like a day in the life type, I guess week in the life of a DCP student. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys soon.